Hello campers, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing of a sleeping bag I recently purchased online. It's a Cedar Summit Trek 2. It's, um, it's pretty hard to find a lot of information on online about all the stuff I like to know, uh, like how big it is once it's compressed and how much room do I need in my sleeping, um, in my, in my backpack or my panniers to um, accommodate the sleeping bag and a few things like that. I know it takes 6.6 .6 litres but how big is it? That's what I want to know. Okay, hopefully you want to know too. I'll, I'll unbox it and um, have a look and see what it looks like. Okay, here it is. It comes in quite a large parcel and um, it says don't unbox with a craft knife. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm using my trusty old um, Leatherman. That should do the trick. Here we go. There we go, I've got it in a, in a nice big bag. This is the storage bag. Once you've finished your camping and trekking and everything else, you store it in this, in your house. That way it doesn't um, stay compressed and helps it loft out when you need it. It comes with uh, three bags, I believe, a laundry bag, the storage bag, and a compression bag. I'll just open it up now and see what it's actually got in there. Hopefully it's got everything in there. Okay, I've unpacked it. It looks like it only comes with the compression sack, which is this one here. Looks to be okay. And the um, storage bag that's it no laundry bag i thought it did come with a laundry bag and it, it's got a warranty card and a, a little tiny carabiner it might come in handy for something um yeah so that looks like it i'll go ahead and pack it into the compression sack and see exactly how big it is once it's compressed there you have it all packed up and that's all cinched down as much as I'm comfortable to cinch it down without doing damage to the um, stuff pack. There's a couple of items that you can, most people have, there's a 700 mil water bottle and a spray can of deodorant. And um, yeah, packs down quite nicely. It's stated to weigh about a kilo, but I don't know, I haven't got much to measure it with at the moment, but um, yeah. It is quite, quite small. I don't know if you can see that too much, but yeah, it looks quite good. Packs down, quite happy with the size of it. Should fit in my backpack quite nicely. Hopefully it's a good sleeping bag for the next 10 years, like my old one. It's rated down to, minus, oh, to one degree comfort and minus eight extreme. Water resistant down treated down so hopefully it, it helps me out in some pretty cold conditions anyway thanks for watching and um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video